Welcome to the Networking Basics mini lecture series. In this mini lecture, you will learn how to convert decimal numbers to binary. I will show you how it's done using my preferred method. And finally, uh, we will go walk through a number of conversion examples together. Please note that uh, within the scope of this course, we will limit converting at decimal 0 through 255. Without further ado, let me show you my method. My preferred method, that is. There are many methods available, and by all means, you should adopt the method that you most uh, are most comfortable with. So in my method, what I do is I draw the uh, positional or position notation chart. Uh, so 168, no, sorry, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So I draw the positional notation chart as a vertical as opposed to the horizontal for this. Now let's say that we want uh, in our example here uh, let's assume we want to convert to uh, uh, 42. We want to convert decimal 42 to its binary equivalent. So we start. Uh, here's how I start. I basically take number 42 and compare it to my to the value of my most significant bit is 128 smaller to or equal to 42 the answer is no therefore my 8 bit in my 8 bit number my most significant bit will have a value of 0 since the answer is no. Proceeding to the next one uh, because the answer is no we simply carry forward or carry down the number 42 again we compare is 64 smaller than or equal to 42 the answer is no. Therefore, we carry a zero for that position. On um, we simply carry downward the value, and we continue our comparison. Is a thirty-two smaller to or equal to forty-two? The answer is yes. Therefore, for a bit at position 6, we have a value, a bit value of 1. Because the response was yes, we subtract a 32 from 42, and we carry that result uh, to the next line. So 32 from 42 is 10 and we continue our comparison is 16 smaller than or equal to 10 the answer is no therefore for that bit position we have a bit value of 0 the answer was no therefore we simply carry the value to the next line is 8 smaller to or uh, equal to 10 the answer is yes we carry uh, the value when the value is yes that position takes a value a bit value of 1 the value was yes therefore or the answer was yes therefore we subtract 8 from 10 and carry the result to the next line gives us 2 is 4 smaller or equal to 2 the answer is no 
therefore that position bit position value is zero and is and we simply carry the value downward is two smaller two or equal to two uh, yes it is equal to two therefore we have a yes and a yes translates into a one and when we have a yes we subtract two from two is zero carry the result f forward and is one smaller than zero nope and therefore we have a value a bit value of zero now examine this the bit here the bit here corresponds to the most significant bit and this is corresponds to the least significant bit the most significant bit as a position of seven in uh, an octet and zero is the position of the least significant bit now let's uh, write the result of our conversion on the horizontal starting with the most significant bit so going from left to right would be zero zero one zero one zero one zero so one zero zero one zero one zero one zero is the result of converting 42 decimal to its binary equivalent let us look at a second example again we write our position positional notation chart in a vertical pattern starting with the most significant bit and again remember we will be converting number 0 through 255 the only numbers we are concerned with in this course are decimal 0 through 255 therefore this method applies so our most significant bit is 128 followed by 64 32 simply divide by 2 16 8 4 2 and 1 and 1 is our least significant bit now let's take a number I'm just dreaming one up here let's say 118 let's say our number that we wish to convert is decimal 118 what is the binary equivalent so again using my, and using my method so let's draw the less than or equal beside each position so we bring the number here is 128 smaller or equal to 118 the answer is no therefore for that bit position we have a zero a bit zero we since the answer is no we simply carry forward the 118 is 64 smaller or equal to 118 yes it is indeed and we therefore our bit value that position will be one remember we need to subtract 64 from 118 is 54 again when we have yes our position or bit position takes a one we subtract 64 from the number we compare it against and carry the result over to the next line so is 32 smaller than or equal to 54 the answer is the answer is uh, yes wow that was pr so yes therefore that bit position takes a value of one again we subtract 32 from 54 
is 22. Okay, is 16 smaller than 22? Yes. So we have a bit position of 1. Uh, we subtract 16 from 22, gives us 6. Is 8 smaller than 6? Nope. Bit position 0. Carry forward is 4 smaller than 6? Yes. Bit value of 1 is 2. And we subtract 4 from 6, gives us 2. Is 2 smaller than 2? Nope. Oh, sorry. 2 is not smaller than 2, but 2 is equal to 2, therefore, yes. Bit position takes a value of 1. Carry forward the, uh, the difference. 1 smaller than 0? Nope. And we have a 0 in the least significant position. So again, this is position 7. This is position 0. So let's write our result on the horizontal. So it would be 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. That the binary value is equivalent to 118 decimal. All right. Now, I believe you're ready uh, to practice. On Blackboard, there are a number of practice tests available for you on Blackboard. Once you feel comfortable that uh, you have mastered the art of converting decimals to binary. Then move on to the next mini lecture, which is converting IP4 V4 binary to the human friendly or friendly human user friendly dotted decimal format. We'll see you shortly.